man BNWSMC engine plunger and barrel removal and fitting. Take all safety precaution as per makers and company recommendation. Close fuel oil inlet valves and drain fuel oil of the pump. Dismount oil drain pipes. Dismount control air pipes. Dismount fuel oil high pressure pipes to fuel valves. Remove top cover fixing nut, careful these nuts are tightened with torque, hammering may be needed while opening. Remove screws for uncovering bores for fixing the top cover lifting tool. Fix top cover lifting tool tighten two bolts of lifting tool on top cover. Pull up top cover with chain block. Never use crane or excessive force for pulling out parts during entire overhauling as it may damage parts. Mark VIT link position and dismantle connecting rod. Remove pins connecting to fuel linkage. Remove the barrel locking nut. Remove the VIT rack and index rack locking nuts. Engage VIT rack pulling tool and pull out VIT rack maximum with tool. Mount the plunger barrel lifting tool on barrel by tightening securing bolts on it. With VIT rack fully pulled out mark the position of barrel lifting tool with respect to pump housing and measure gap between the pump housing and barrel lifting tool for future reference. Engage the plunger barrel lifting tool to plunger. When index rack is pulled out maximum plunger lifting tool will face forward aft direction. Or close to it check it with inspection hole as a slight turn might be needed to clear the foot. Pull the plunger by hand to clear foot of plunger. Once the foot is clear, secure plunger in this condition by tightening the L key on lifting tool. Plunger barrel assembly now ready to be pulled out. Slightly pull the barrel with chain block use only one hand pull on chain block not more. Plunger barrel is out. If it's difficult to progress further due to sticky parts, use following procedures. Please do not use excessive force for pulling out as it may lead damage of parts. This video is made for special conditions as in case plunger and or barrel are not coming out. In case plunger is not coming out proceed to remove the barrel only. Disengage the plunger lifting tool by unscrewing the rod. With VIT rack fully pulled out mark the position of barrel lifting tool with respect to pump housing and measure gap between the pump housing and barrel lifting tool for future reference. Ensure plunger lifting tool remain disengaged. Pull the chain block with one hand to keep the wire tight. Turn the barrel clockwise around 20-30 degrees or between two studs securing the top cover until barrel upward movement has been noticed due to the pull force. It indicates barrel thread is clear out of pinion threads. Principally barrel and VIT pinion are left hand threaded and relative clockwise movement will causes loosening of these left handed threads thus fully separating them out of each other. Slowly and carefully pull out the barrel.
Once barrel is out, place it on wooden planks, remove the barrel lifting tool. Plunger without barrel in pump housing. Pour cleaning agent at plunger foot through sight glass at bottom and clean it as much as possible. Pour cleaning agent, like diesel or soft drinks etc. Turn the fuel index rack vigorously this will cause cleaning agent to penetrate inside the plunger foot and eventually loosen carbon or sludge. Engage the plunger barrel lifting tool to plunger. Pull the index rack maximum out in this condition the plunger tool marker will be in forward aft direction or close to it check it with inspection hole as a slight turn might be needed to clear the foot. Pull the plunger by hand to clear foot of plunger. Once the foot is clear, pull the plunger out. Please watch next videos for further overhauling and assembly. Your valued comments shall be highly appreciated. Thank you.